So welcome everybody. Welcome to the June Gateway, June 6, 2021. And this is Channeling Korea. And um, it's um <laughs> it's the the uh, energy has been really amping up, especially today. And uh, well, actually yesterday was pretty high too. So all ready for the 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 June gateway. And um, before I go on to do the channeling, let's just briefly do a meditation just to get everybody, including myself, in the mood to receive. So let's um, just breathe in deeply and let it all go. Breathe in deeply again. And let it all go. And breathe in deeply one more time. And let it all go. And continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And as you breathe, allow your body to become more and more relaxed. Breathe in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, breathe out anything that is taking you away from this moment. Allow your body to become more and more relaxed. And when you feel your body is starting to be more relaxed, then shift your focus to your heart. Just imagine that you are taking an energetic elevator that takes you from your head all the way down into your heart. And feel what it feels like to be focused in your heart. And also imagine that you can actually breathe in and breathe out through your heart. As you breathe into your heart, bring in infinite possibilities. And as you breathe out, Breathe out anything that is weighing your heart down. Let all of that go so that you can come into the present moment and just be with your own body. Just enjoy the breathing in and breathing out, the most simple function of your body, going with the rhythm of your breathing and simply focus on your breath and allow your thoughts to leave if they are ready to leave. As you breathe in, all the way into your heart, you're bringing in fresh air, fresh ideas, fresh energy, 
into your heart. Ask for your heart to be connected with your soul and also connected to all parts of you. All the physical and the non-physical parts of you. Allow the physical part of you, your body, to work seamlessly with the non-physical parts of you. That's how you are de designed anyways. The physical parts of you is designed to allow the non-physical part of you, the non-physical part of you to experience. And you experience through your body. your physical body has have so many thousands of years of experience it has memories of the capabilities that it used to have. Your body used to have much more capabilities because your body has a lot of capabilities that will only be unlocked depending on the level of your consciousness, the consciousness of your soul, of the non-physical parts of you. It's been a long time now since your body was able to access all those different capabilities that it used to know, it used to be much more accessible because your soul used to have a much higher consciousness. The souls that first inhabited and made use of these bodies used to be able to access a much higher consciousness. But things happen, events take place. And the human collective decided to have a side journey, let's call it, to have an experience of low consciousness. It was an experiment.
And so the consciousness of the human collective plummeted and continued to plummet for a while until rather recently that's when it started to go up again especially with all the cosmic codes and cosmic energies that's hitting earth for the last 15 20 years and the last five years it's been much more much more high vibration high frequency not just the the vibration but the the number of times that these high energies comes in actually has increased to the point where it seems like there is at least one or two energy waves that is high frequency hitting earth every week a few times the earth is now bombarded by all these waves to wake people up And we each and every one has to make that choice at a soul level. Do I want to wake up and know? really get to know who I truly am, who the soul that is inhabiting these bodies truly are capable of. know yet It is our soul that decides whether it wants to wake up or not. And also how fast does it want to wake up? The energies are there that is hitting earth relentlessly and how much of it do we actually make use of that? It's entirely up to each and every soul that is here on earth, on the ground. Has no right, no wrong. It is simply a soul choice. And what happens to those who decided not to wake up? It 
It depends. The soul may want to just come here and have a brief experience of being here during this time of transition into the next density, the next way of playing on earth. There are some souls that are simply here to see how it is done. They just want to have a taste. They just want to be able to say, oh, I've been there, been there, done that. The soul is not really here for the full journey, for the full awakening. It's only here to taste. And once it had that taste, and then the soul goes back, drop the body, leave the body, and go back to or go forward to some other experiences. And then there are those who so decided that it is not ready to wake up. I still am not done. I'm still not done. And I would like to do this over again, a do over. What this transition is about is really a graduation from one density going up to the next density, a totally different experience. The souls who are ready to wake up and are ready to go into next densities are the one who has learned all that they wanted to learn. And they are ready to step up to the next level of learning. They are fully ready to go ahead and let go of all the, the patterns, the thought patterns that they have been running for so many lifetimes. They have learned all that they needed to learn. And so this time around, they are ready to graduate. They are ready. To completely go to a new playground. fifth dimension earth or fourth density playground on earth. And then there are the souls that has done some learning, but they know that somehow there's still something There are still some experiences, some boxes that they have not ticked yet. And they want to get more chance to learn those things. 
the soul directs its own learning. And the soul knows The soul knows when it is not ready to let go of the old ways of learning. There are still some things that I didn't quite learn. There are still some lessons that I didn't really get the full benefit of. And that's when the soul decided that I needed to do this over again. I want to have another go. And so those who wanted to do over would simply stay behind, stay not aware Stay asleep. And then when the chance comes for them to recycle their body, the soul would simply go to a different playground that still allows them to play in 3D, to go and experience and get every bit, every drop of understanding that they're so needed in order to get themselves ready for the next level up. You see the soul does not see it as being shameful. And the soul does not have this timetable that, oh, I have to do this in 2021 or 2022. There is no timetable. The soul just is eternal. If the soul feels it needs to learn some lessons again in order to get the most out of it, then the universe provides. The universe will provide for these souls. to be transplanted to different playground that would allow them to experience and keep on learning, keep on refining their own understanding until such time as they so decided that They've learned all that is, and they can make a choice. They go to the next level. And then there are those souls, those beautiful souls who decided that, well, I really want to take up the challenge. I really want to go to the next level in a special way. I want to go to the negative path. And they work very hard in this lifetime to learn the craft of being negative, 
of being manipulative, of serving themselves, and they were able to polarize themselves to the extent that they actually get to graduate to a planet that would support them to continue this negative path. I say negative as something to be in contrast to positive. And in this sense, negative does not mean in the eyes of the creator does not mean it is bad. In the eyes of source, there is only free will. In the eyes of source, whatever our soul choose to do, universe will support. So when I say negative, I simply mean it to be as something that is as a contrast to positive. You can think of it as being electricity or a magnet. It has a positive side and a negative side. It does not mean that one side of a magnet is bad and the other side is good. It simply means that the charge of the two sides are different. And so all of this is happening now. Humanity is working out how to separate and the souls are finding their own path to go to the playground that most suitable for their souls next batch of learning and the next level of learning and nobody knows how it's going to happen And that's why when we look out on earth now, it seems like there's so much chaos. It actually is not. This is how the new platform is being created. The old platform has to be tear down and each soul is creating their own path, their own stories to get themselves to be positioned in order for them to start playing the next level. The 
collective as a whole has a timeline. But each and every one, each and every soul has their own choice, their own timeline as well. Your timeline may be different from the collective. The collective is simply an average. Your timeline, your own timeline, is determined by your soul. Which is why it is so important to be in your heart now so that you can be close to your soul. Your soul is going to guide you one step at a time, one day at a time, to guide you to where you need it to be. Who you need it to be around. Your soul already has made the choice, made the destination. But the journey, the journey has not been fully mapped out yet. As we all know, the journey is the fun part. The journey. How your creator ability, the creative part of you is going to have fun to create moment from moment, having the end goal in mind, but moment to moment, be able to shift Each one of us is doing that moment by moment. And this is the magic that is happening now. Trust in yourself. Your soul is more powerful than you ever know. Whether you have communication, good communication with your own soul or not, that's besides the point. The point is that you are always connected with your soul and your soul is always creating for you. It is just that when you have good communication with your soul, you may be able to work with your soul. In a smoother way. And if you don't have as good a communication with your soul, your soul may sometime have to cut out some sharp corners for you to maneuver. You may have more surprises, but in the end, 
trust that your soul will get you where you need it to go. And whom it is that would be around you as well. They may not be whom you are attached to having around you. But that's okay as well. Free will. Everyone has free will. And every soul is just as powerful as the next. Breathe in. Draw closer to your soul. Especially when you're not sure what to do. It is best to not listen to your head so much. Now is the time to listen to your heart more. To feel more and think less. And to be brave as well. Because your soul it may move you It may move you to, to decide to go to a different location, or it may move you to be in touch with new friends, or your soul may move you to take up new careers, to start up new projects. It may cause you to be fired from your old job so that you can go on to the right job, to meet with the right people. That is going to be your next step. Anything can happen. That is how our soul creates Human beings do not like change. So many things in our lives, so many systems, so many institutions. have been going on for a long time, having had no change or very minimal change. And that is why it's not easy for humans to find themselves
at the next level. In addition to listening to your heart and staying close to your heart, may we suggest that you let go of attachments, that you allow yourself to flow. Allow yourself to be moved by the whispering of your soul. Letting go of attachments. It may not feel easy at first. The more you allow things to change, the easier it gets. It is only when you stubbornly cling that's when your soul has to be more abrupt with you. So if you really want a smoother ride, then it is time to take a deep breath and let it all out. Let go. Let go of people, places and things. We know that it may not be easy at first. Rest assured though, that the people, places and things what needs to go must go. And the things that are important, truly important to your soul's journey, the people, that are really important for your journey, they will stick around, even if they temporarily need to leave you, but they will come back. Those who leave and don't come back are the ones that are not going to be there for you. That your soul really don't need for the next playground. 
new people would come in. They may not be able to completely replace the people that you are not going to see anymore, but that's okay. The people who have left for whatever reason, they will always be with you. Even if they are not physically there with you, they will always be there. Make room for new friends to come into your life. For new ideas to come in. For new opportunities to come in. New careers. New jobs. new systems. New ways of relating with each other. More peaceful ways of working out our differences. More compassion. more understanding. More cooperation. All that is needed the human collective that has chosen to go on to the next playground to come together work together to anchor in to bring in, to create out of nothing, to create a totally new playground, a new way of supporting each other. a new way of coming together as a group. New families, new group dynamics, so much to look forward to.
I know that it is sometimes a bad habit for humans to only focus on what we are losing rather than focus on what it is that we are gaining. What we are letting go of is simply making way for new things to come in. Take a moment, take as long as you need to. To feel, to feel the new playground, the new earth, trying. to communicate with you. The new earth is already there, existed. It has already been planned. We are simply now, each and every one of us who so has agreed to move on to this new earth. To come together, to create it. One day at a time. One thought at a time. one heart at a time. Take as long as you need to, to connect with this new earth. It's already been planned. The plans have already been made. We are all just given the script and the things that we needed to do. One step at a time. The more we decide to focus on joining this new earth, the easier it is for us to align ourselves, align our lives with the new earth. To take part in 
creating it, visualizing it, bringing it forth. Feel it in your heart so strongly. that you can feel the pull of that reality. It is as though you are following the magnetic line Your heart is going to know how to follow that blueprint. Don't think that because you are not doing a job, you are not building a community or doing anything concrete. Don't think that that is in any ways means that you're not doing anything. You are. your soul, the people whose soul is chosen to play in the new earth. They are all joined together. Consciously and unconsciously, they are being pulled forward. And their body is decoding all the information or the waves. of cosmic energies. Our body is decoding them as fast as it can. It is shifting and transforming to get our body ready. To be able to function in the new earth. All of these preparation, all these work that you don't even know that you are doing. And you are. In your body, your physical and non-physical body, energetically, you are doing so much work. bit by bit, day by day, before you know it. You will start to see new earth, 
new systems, new thoughts, new communities. All of those. It is like you are going through a stretch where it is so foggy outside that you don't see anything. At this level, but at some level, All of a sudden, you start to see. You start to witness. And then you realize that there has been so much groundwork being done already that's being hidden by all those four that you couldn't see yet. And that new earth has been there all along. So answer Answer the calling of your heart. Connect with a new earth, a new playground, which is the old earth, but completely upgraded to a new level our consciousness would be able to unlock so much more of the capabilities of our body. All of that is coming. The new earth is already planned. Follow your heart, follow. That pull that invisible pool that only your heart can feel that you would be able to shift from moment to moment until you shift to the reality where you are on new earth. You can see it with your eyes. You can feel it with your hands. And you can see people holding hands together to celebrate and welcome in this new era, this new playground, 
that we have all been waiting for. For a long time, it is finally here. Take another deep breath in. Stay close to your heart. Your heart knows the way. We love you. Thank you for allowing us to spend time with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.